In an effort to strengthen its defense capabilities, the Canadian government has unveiled a significant initiative aimed at modernizing its land forces through the Indirect Fires Modernization IFM, program. Announced in early March 2025, the program's focus is on upgrading Canada's artillery systems to improve their effectiveness in future military engagements. The Canadian Armed Forces are set to replace their aging M777 towed howitzers with a new generation of self-propelled 155mm artillery, boosting both mobility and firepower on the battlefield. The IFM program's primary goal is to enhance the Canadian Army's artillery capabilities by acquiring up to 98 self-propelled 155mm howitzers. These new systems will replace the existing 33 M777 towed artillery units which, while effective in past operations such as the war in Afghanistan, have limitations in terms of mobility and adaptability for future combat scenarios. The need for a more advanced, mobile artillery system capable of engaging near-peer adversaries equipped with sophisticated electronic warfare and drone technologies has driven this push for modernization. Beyond self-propelled artillery, the program also includes the procurement of additional mortars such as up to 99 120mm mortars to be integrated with LAV 6.0 ACSV vehicles, as well as 81mm mortars intended for light tactical vehicles. These systems will supplement the artillery capabilities and improve operational flexibility in a variety of combat situations. There are also discussions about acquiring up to 133 81mm mortars as a potential alternative to the current stock of older L-16 models, which are in need of replacement. The acquisition process is still in its early stages, with the Canadian government seeking to evaluate available options through a request for information that will close in April 2025. This stage aims to define the precise requirements and to gauge the interest of potential contractors. Several companies, including Gluescap Defense and Intermac Group SA, have already shown interest in participating, indicating strong support from the defense industry for this significant program. The broader context of this decision is important. Given the evolving geopolitical tensions, particularly the ongoing trade conflicts between Canada and the United States. While Canada has historically relied on U.S. defense equipment, there are concerns that strained relations may affect the future of such procurement. As tensions between the two nations rise, there is a growing desire within Canada to diversify its defense partnerships and reduce reliance on U.S. made systems. This shift could influence future decisions regarding the acquisition of artillery systems such as the M777, which may no longer meet the country's strategic needs in an increasingly complex global security environment. The IFM program is not only about acquiring new hardware but also focuses on the comprehensive support systems required for their operation. This includes the procurement of ammunition carriers, command vehicles, reconnaissance platforms, and a suite of advanced technology such as fire control and communication systems. Additionally, simulators and training infrastructures will ensure that Canadian forces are well prepared to use the new artillery systems effectively in the field. This modernization effort is part of a larger strategy to equip the Canadian Army with the tools and technologies necessary for future conflicts. The IFM program is currently in the analysis phase, where military experts are evaluating various potential configurations, including a common fleet of 155mm self-propelled howitzers and lighter artillery systems like 120mm mortars. A decision will also be made about integrating loitering munitions, which are seen as a critical component for countering advanced adversary tactics. Although full funding for the program has not yet been secured, the IFM initiative has been identified as one of the Canadian Army's highest procurement priorities. Addressing the gaps in indirect fires capabilities is seen as crucial to meeting Canada's defense obligations, particularly under operations like Operation Reassurance, which involves ensuring the security of NATO allies in Eastern Europe. The Canadian Army is undergoing a period of transformation, with an emphasis on increased battlefield adaptability and decentralized decision-making. The introduction of more advanced artillery and support systems is expected to significantly improve operational effectiveness enabling the Canadian forces to remain competitive in the face of rapidly advancing military technologies worldwide.